Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert one third to a decimal. Now, when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for one third, we can set this up as one divided by three. Then we go through the division process. So we have one divided by three. How many whole groups of three in one? How many threes in one? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this problem. Once we have the decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer, will be. Now we can think of this as 10 divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in 10? Well, three, that gets us to nine. So we need to put the three above the zero here since we used that zero and thought of this as 10 divided by three. This will line us up correctly. Now we multiply, three times three is nine, subtract, 10 minus nine is one. Now we don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we need to continue on by using another zero that we can bring down. So we have 10 again, 10 divided by three. How many whole groups of three in 10? Well, three. Let me extend this division bar here. So we put three up here, multiply, three times three is nine, subtract, 10 minus nine is one. We can use another zero that we can bring down and we get 10 again. You may notice that we have a pattern here. This is going to repeat over and over and give us a repeating decimal. So 10 divided by three, again, three. So let's put another three up here. Multiply three times three is nine. Subtract 10 minus nine is one. So again, this is going to go on forever and give us a repeating decimal. Those threes will never end. So one third as a decimal, we can write this as 0 0.3 and then put a bar above the three to show that that digit repeats. So one third equals 0 0.3 repeating. Now another option when we have a repeating decimal is to round and we can round to whatever place we would like. But for this example, let's round to the tenths place and the hundredths place. We'll start with the tenths place. So one third is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, it's not exact. So in the tenths place, we have a three with a three in the hundredths. So this rounds to three tenths. So one third is approximately three tenths. Now let's do the hundredths place. So one third, is approximately, well, we have a three in the hundredths with a three in the thousandths. So this rounds to 33 hundredths. So some different options there as far as writing out a repeating decimal. We can use a bar above a repeating digit or digits to show that they repeat or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert one third to a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.